Hello, human-shaped friends. Uh, this is not my favorite mushroom. <laughs> it's not because the facts that I learned about it, the environment that it lives in, you know, colored my opinion. It's because I was in a really bad headspace when I painted it. It took me hours to find something that I could even fathom painting. Nothing was harmonizing. No colors, no shapes, no fun facts, just nothing. Eventually I just kind of landed on this one because it was spiky and white. <laughs> and like I've said before, there are times when the rendering of something white can be beautiful and complicated and eye-opening. This was not one of those times. I was not in the right headspace to be making anything. I probably should have just stayed in bed, which is likely just the depression talking. While I did complete this mushroom, it's not up to my standards. And that's okay. Like I've spoken about before, you won't love everything you make. It's not that you can't, it's just that there are times when the act of creation itself takes too much from you. It's why a lot of artists will occasionally show off their um, unfinished pile, the things that they started and never completed. Whether the idea, the inspiration left them, you know, the deadline left them, they just stopped loving it. All of those things are perfectly valid. They're all things that we will experience. I told myself that I needed to finish it because of my trauma. If I'm not being productive, I don't feel like I deserve anything. How can I claim a place in this world if I'm not trying? Of course, my idea of trying and other people's ideas of trying are very different. What can you do? Except, you know, continue to move forward. Or not. I don't know where you are at in your journey. <laughs> um, if you want to take a look at my uh, Destroying Angel Mushroom, you will see quite a bit of difference between the way that the whites were rendered. This one was a lot simpler. You know, just cool toned shadows. And, you know, I, I tried a little bit. I'm going to use the word harder <laughs> on the stem. But it was just, nothing was working. Well, that's okay. Things don't have to work out. Every day doesn't have to be perfect. Every day can't be perfect. Every day normally isn't perfect. <laughs> I did a mushroom. I'm going to do a little sarcastic happy dance on my end. Maybe you'll look at it and find the beauty in it. Again, the shape is lovely. And a white, I'm going to call it princess mushroom. It's not a princess mushroom. It's a Leo something mushroom, <laughs> but it, uh, it has aspects to it that are beautiful. I just couldn't find them today. Let me know what you think down below. If you hate it, that's fine. If you love it, that's fine too. If maybe you stumbled across this video and you just think my voice is somewhat calming, heck, I will take it. Let me know you're out there. That way, neither of us feel quite so alone, I guess. I don't know. The rambling over the time lapses is a strange thing for me, because I, I still don't really quite know what to talk about. So I kind of subject hop. <laughs> I hope whatever kind of day you are having, you're able to find joy in something. Whether it's you know, discovering a new favorite TV show or, or finishing a good book. Maybe you went for a walk and you saw a pretty bird. Or maybe you stayed inside and found that missing slipper. Those small things that can just make life worth living. It can be hard to find them. But if you don't look, you never will. I'm going to try to look a little harder today for them.
and maybe I'll succeed, and maybe I won't. Tomorrow will be a new day. Same problems, but new day. Maybe a little less exhaustion baked in the bones. <laughs> or maybe, you know, my chaos goblin will actually want to snuggle. He's been very anti-snuggle recently. I mean, he'll sit in the same room and scream, but that's not quite the same. <laughs>